Hi there, I'm Markus and I'm based in Berlin. And I'll present to you the Child Growth Monitor. The Child Growth Monitor is an app to measure and diagnose children for malnutrition. And Child Growth Monitor Beta is the early release of our app due to COVID-19. There are 3.1 million children dying every year due to malnutrition. And it is not easy to detect malnutrition. You cannot just see it by looking at a child and then you see if the child is malnourished or not. So that means you need to measure it. But current measurement methods are very unreliable. Our partner Boston Consulting Group has calculated that only one third of the measurements are correct. And that has a lot of reasons. Yeah, the hardware is unreliable. There's not one method how to measure a child. Um, but the biggest problem is that you need to have a team of two trained experts to have a proper measurement. And there's just not enough people out there yeah, to do the amount of measurement that's necessary. And also all of the measurements uh, that are used nowadays, they need physical contact. In the Corona crisis, so in the current Corona health crisis, all measurements have been stopped in, in most of the developing countries. But the bigger problem is that the health crisis will be followed by a food security crisis. And there are calculations out there that estimate that 30 million children um, might be dying due to this food security crisis. And this is why we've um, been asked by one of our partners, the World Food Programme, if we cannot release um, an early version of the Child Growth Monitor. Yeah? And then we sat together with a team and we think we can do it. Yeah? This is how Child Growth Monitor works. Yeah? It all starts with a signed consent form by the parents. Then you um, take the app or you, you take the smartphone, you start the app and you do a, a, a quick scan, basically a quick um, movie um, of the child and out of this we calculate height and weight and the middle upper arm circumference and together with sex and um, age we can do all the diagnosis that we need. Yeah? At the moment we have an accuracy level of around 50 percent um, but we think we can release um, uh, our app already because we put in another security layer of reliability um, which will be 100 percent that means for every diagnosis that we um, give out, we can say to 100% if uh, the uh, diagnosis is correct or not. If the diagnosis is not correct, you might just have to take it again or measure manually. Um, this is our development plan. And for the release of Child Growth Monitor Better, we need uh, an additional 450,000 uh, euros. But we're also looking for interesting partners, yeah, especially um, big international organizations, yeah, UN organizations. Um, privacy and data protection is very important for us. Yeah, the data that we're collecting do not belong to us, they belong to the parents. And in the future, at the moment, we're part of a German NGO. In the future, we want to set up our project as an open source, non-profit social business. Here are some of our partners, um, yeah, German government, um, WFP, UNICEF, Boston Consulting, GIZ, and so on. Thanks for listening, and I'm happy to answer your questions. Thanks very much, Marcus. I think we have uh, like a few minutes for the Q&A. So any question from the judges? Can you talk, <clears throat> excuse me, can you um, um, explain the background of your team? Uh, yeah. We have a team of 16 people at the moment and 13 of them are tech. Um, I think we have the team, we have the, a good team to uh, develop the solution. Yeah? So we have uh, specialists in AI and we're also cooperating with a couple of German universities and we're cooperating with uh, Microsoft US on the AI part. Um, amazing. I'm, I'm really impressed with what you're doing. So thank you. Thanks. Any more questions? Yeah, Marcus, um, this is really exciting to hear that you are working on, on, on this needed area. Uh, my question is on, uh, given the, the, the target population, it's likely the technology will be used in a resource constrained setting, yeah. uh, including internet connections and, and uh, device uh, hardware resources. 
Um, so how do you factor that in, in terms of your, uh, the product service delivery? Yeah, so we have, um, we're targeting the 15 least 50 least developed countries in the world. Um, our target group or the, we have, we have a plan, but the first, the primary target group in the beginning are um, front, frontline healthcare workers. Yeah? Um, so people who are working in this field already. Um, and once uh, we see that our solution works, we will widen our target group, for example, uh, uh, to pharmacies or general practitioners, and maybe if everything works at the end, then also to parents. Yeah? Great. And, and I just have a, a comment on the, I think you mentioned you're registering as a not-for-profit, uh, which I think is a really smart move because the, for the objective of the technology uh, has a lot of high relevance to SDGs of impact. And uh, for working in a UN system for a long time, I know there are a lot of funding available as a grant to not-for-profit. So it's a really good, uh, I think it's a really good move. If that's the case, let's connect. But yes, I would uh, like to uh, second that. Um, our goal is to maximize impact. Yeah? So even if we're, we want to um, establish a, a social business, so that means we will uh, need to earn some money yeah, to, to pay the team to be self-sustainable. But then, yeah, we want to maximize impact and basically measure, give every child in developing countries the same measurement uh, as in developed countries. Yeah, of course. Great, thank you. Ahmad, you're on mute, but I suppose you're saying it's okay if I ask a question. So, Marcus, that was great. exactly what I was saying. Yeah, <laughs> please go ahead. Yeah. You live. <laughs> so, Marcus, yeah, thanks so much. Uh, I also love it. It's great. Um, you know, I was wondering why is the accuracy between 40 to 60 percent? So, why is it at 50? What is the reason why it's, um, you know, I don't know if it's low or not, but sounds, I mean, 50 is like every second child basically will not be measured correctly. Well, so, what's the reason for that? we're still working on it yeah so we're still under development mode and our original plan was to release a first version somewhere next year yeah mm. um when when the accuracy is much higher yeah um but then again we were approached by the world food program who said uh, who are one of our donors who said can you not release something now yeah or as quickly as possible yeah because like I said, in developing countries, no child is, is measured at all. In India, one third of all um, malnourished children live in India. And in India, there's a shutdown. Yeah? And that means if a child is not measured, they will not be treated. Yeah? But with our app, you can measure from a, from a safe distance, yeah? from 1.5 meters. Um, so this is why we, we, we're planning to uh, release a version with uh, less, uh, or with an accuracy that we don't like, yeah? but we think it will still work. Which, I, which I think is okay. You know, it's better to release as soon as possible. You know, there's a quote we say, if you release when you are fully satisfied with it, then it's too late. You know, <laughs> you should be releasing while you're actually not fully satisfied with that, especially in a time like now. So, okay. What will be the first country you're releasing to? Uh, India. Okay. We're active in India and uh, yeah, it will be India. <laughs> 